certificate of incorporation is not required for private company memorandum of association is a document which actually forms the character of the company and define its powers and objects memorandum you cannot do alter or you cannot change immediately but articles you can immediately you can alter A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram Fasrat College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are discussing your unit number two of company law. Under this, we are discussing the topic called formation of company. Formation in the sense, as I told you, what do you mean by company law? Company law means from the formation till the liquidation. Again, I'll repeat. Company law means what? From the formation till the liquidation of company, they should follow this. What is that? Company Act 2013. Earlier it was 1956. Now it is upgraded to 2013. Now, under formation of company, we will understand how to form a company. It may be private. It may be public. What are the procedures? And under this, the major topic you will get in your examination that will be called as memorandum as well as articles of association. The first topic will go with company formation. What do you mean by company formation? Under this, company formation is the process of registering a business as a limited company at company's house. As a result, the business become a distinct legal entity. Now. The process is also referred to as company incorporation and company registration. Hope you are clear. Now, incorporation and registration. In case of public and private, while doing that, I'll explain you what is incorporation and certificate of incorporation as well as commencement. Now, company formation is a process of registering business as a limited. Company. Now, if it is a private company, we go with private limited. If it is a public company, we go with limited. Next one, certificate to commencement of business. If you want to start up a new business, you should have certificate of commencement. What do you mean that? In this, a private company may commence its business immediately. For private company, certificate of commencement is not required. Certificate of incorporation is sufficient. Remember, there are two certificates are there: certificate of incorporation and certificate of commencement. Certificate of incorporation is not required for private company because certificate of commencement is enough. Immediately, they can start up business. Private company may commence its business immediately in corporation, but public company cannot commence business immediately after in corporation unless it has obtained certificate of commencement. This is required for public company. How many certificates required for public? Two. First, second. Certificate of commencement, certificate of incorporation. This is for public. What about private? So, in this certificate of commencement, that is more than sufficient. Hope you are clear. Certificate of commencement that is more than sufficient. Certificate of commencement of business will be issued only when. When they will issue this certificate of commencement, shares payable in cash have been allotted. First one, the directors have paid in cash the application and allotment money in the respect. Like you already studied your issue of shares under issue of shares in your second PUC at twelve. So application allotment first call final call these things. So your application money is already collected. Then you can issue certificate of commencement. And steps for private limited company registration. If you want to start up a new business as a private limited, what are the procedures you are supposed to follow? Now, acquire DSC for director and subscribers. Second one, obtain DIN number for directors. Name 
approval application you have to approve your name of the company application for certificate of incorporation formation of memorandum as well as articles of association these are must required to commence business what is memorandum of association this is very important repeatedly they have asked in your examination now memorandum of association is a document which actually forms the character of the company and define its powers and objects what are the powers and objects are there of the company that is defined in memorandum now it is a basic document it states how the company is to be constituted the complete as i told you know how the bhagavad gita for hindus like how bible is for christians how quran is for muslims similarly this one the document memorandum for company they should follow this memorandum work it will perform it will perform at the same time it contains rules regarding the capital structure the liability of the members the object values and other important matters everything is included in that what are the contents which are there in the memorandum what is there in the memorandum see name clause situation object area where it is operating liability what is the capital how much authorized capital the association and subscription clause printing and signing of memorandum these things which are included in memorandum similarly articles of association there is a second part and it is almost similar to your memorandum only memorandum you cannot do alter or you cannot change immediately but articles you can immediately you can alter with a few procedures are there that you are supposed to follow then you can alter your articles of association now articles of association contains the rules and regulation which are to be followed for the internal management memorandum this is for what company articles means what day to day activity hope you are clear now i'll give you simple example what is memorandum what is article your examination final examination which is finalized and given by whom university that is memorandum your daily class time table given by whom college that is article hope you are clear the weightage your final examination time table given by university your class time table given by college class time table is article of association and final exam time table is memorandum of association what are the contents like number and value of shares preliminary contract loan calls in calls on shares like first call second call final call calls in arrears calls in advance transfer and transmission forfeiture of shares share warrant the shares can be converted to share warrants so similarly alteration of capital general meeting and voting rights directors secretary dividend and reserve accounts and audit and winding up procedure all this which is included in articles of association so i'll go back to all the previous slides so that you can take screenshot there is a company formation certificate to commencement steps for private limited company memorandum of association contents of memorandum articles contents of articles of association so this is all about your formation of company one of the easiest topic easily you can score well in this particular topic please concentrate on memorandum and article in this particular topic thank you